Justin Thomas completes the Aloha double. After a seven-stroke victory at the Sony Open in Hawaii, Justin Thomas notched his fourth victory on the PGA Tour, becoming the first to sweep both Hawaii events since Ernie Els in 2003. I just can't get over how fast and how, uh, these two weeks went by and how much of a blur they almost are. And I'm really excited of where my game's at and how comfortable I'm feeling when I'm out there. Thomas's win was due in part to his dominance off the tee. He led the field in driving distance by more than 18 yards, which translated into the shortest distance to the green after tee shots, averaging under 140 yards. The Alabama alum's 72-hole total of 253 broke the PGA to a record by one shot, thanks to his historic round of 59 in round one. And he's did it. That is an impressive performance. I thought I would have been just as nervous as I was trying to win a golf tournament, but I also was in an unbelievable zone. It's history. It's awesome. It's really cool. I was rooting for him. Every putt that was coming down the stretch, just really, really happy for JT right now. At 23, Thomas became the youngest to fire a sub-60 round, beating David Duvall to the magic mark by four years. The funny thing about golf is it can always be lower. There's one thing to shoot 62 or 3, but to shoot 59, 60 to kind of get in that area, it takes someone pretty special. Going low is nothing new for Thomas. Since the start of his 2016-17 season, he already recorded four rounds of 64 or better. It's all part of a new trend where going low is far from a rarity. Golf has become more scientific and there's more knowledge out there. Players are going to get better. There could be some sort of mental barrier there, and that barrier has been removed. Mr. 58 is Jim Furyk. There's an energy in the air, and, and that's what I felt, the emotions of trying to break 59. To have a place in history is something you dream of. From 1977 to 2009, the PGA Tour only saw three sub-60 rounds. In the eight seasons since, it's happened five times. And that number nearly grew again when Kevin Kisner had a chance to follow up Thomas's 59 with one of his own just two days later. That close to breaking golf's magic number once again. A lot of guys get going, they get to that eight, nine on their mark. And how do you handle that? It's there, everybody's good enough to do it. It's just fighting off the nerves and, and doing it just that one time. Now a member of the elite sub-60 club, and having won three of his last four starts, Thomas has taken the golf world by storm. But for those who know him best, it's just part of the overall process he's been building towards since he first picked up a club. He's got full control of his game, full confidence, and he's executing under pressure, succeeded at each level, and just moved up the totem pole.